Last night, the Screen Actors Guild voted to strike. Fran Drescher is the president of the Screen Actors Guild. She explained perfectly what's at stake. What happens here is important because what's happening to us is happening across all fields of labor by means of when employers make Wall Street and greed their priority and they forget about the essential contributors that make the machine run. This strike is not about privileged actors. It's about the American middle class. It's about the nature of work. It's about the nature of work over the balance of the 21st century. It's about the dignity of the human being. The American labor movement came into existence during America's Gilded Age. And what it created was America's middle class. And America's middle class became the furnace that fueled American prosperity, American liberty. And during the Second World War, the American middle class saved the entire world. Americans deserve to be able to go to work and earn a living that helps them create prosperity for themselves and their family, gives them an opportunity to climb the economic ladder, to live a purposeful and dignified life. The question at hand, and it is a profound one, is this. Should most of America be pauperized and exist in a state of indentured servitude to the nation's 1%? Should people be able to have basic economic security, or should they be plagued to a life of anxiety and worry because 40% of the population in the United States of America, the wealthiest country in the history of the world, has only $400 available in case of an emergency. Vast percentages of Americans live paycheck to paycheck, one broken leg away from financial destitution, and ruin. It is unfair, and it is wrong. Fran Drescher is precisely right. What this fight is about is perfectly clear. It is drawing a line in the sand and saying to Wall Street, enough is enough is enough. That's what the strike is about. Fran Drescher expressed it perfectly. We are living through a new Gilded Age. And what is happening is perfectly clear. Can you hear the rumble? The sound? It's the sound of the American labor movement roaring back to life. This is a momentous strike and it will have profound implications, but it doesn't exist in a vacuum. It exists along a continuum of mistreatment of America's workers by America's richest CEOs and companies. I think what has awakened America's labor movement are the excesses of Starbucks and its accused campaign of union busting. Starbucks workers were fed a line of BS. They were told that they were partners, and then they were degraded because they couldn't make enough money to live for a full-time job. And so what did they do? They formed a union, which is their right. And what did the company do? The company tried to break the union, which is against the law. The company made a tremendous error because Americans are a defiant people who don't like being told what to do by the most powerful amongst us. And so the union movement took off within Starbucks. The union movement started to come back to life. And now 
at the edge of the age of intelligent machines that will eviscerate thousands and thousands of occupations across America. If you're a radiologist, the writer's strike is about your job. If you're an accountant, the actor's strike matters to you. Wall Street's interest is to make as much money as possible for as few people as possible at the top. And if it means pauperizing the entire population into a form of indentured servitude where they get paid pennies on the dollar for their contribution and the machines do everything else, they'll be perfectly satisfied because you can't see the misery left behind from the super yachts far out at sea or from the space station hovering above. UPS and the Teamsters are in very heated negotiations right now. The estimated cost of a strike to the American economy, should the Teamsters walk out on UPS, is $7 billion over 10 days. But here's the thing. The Teamsters are an essential institution in America because the Teamsters help build the American middle class. And what has happened to the American middle class over the last 30 to 40 years is it has been wrecked, decimated, hobbled. It's time to rebuild it. And I think what you're seeing is the beginning of the movement that will do that, that is asserting the system is unfair, that life without work is purposeless, but work without dignity is also. Dignity comes from being able to provide for your family, to be able to build for the future, to be able to set your children on a path where they can live their dreams and maybe do better than the generation that came before. This is elemental to the American dream and the American experience. This isn't a strike about the wealthiest actors in Hollywood. It's about the middle class. It's about the working men and women who play a vital part of America's economy and are an important aspect of America's power. America isn't just the wealthiest nation in the world. It's the most powerful. Most of us tend to equate power with military might. Now, America's military is certainly the most powerful in the world. But America is not a powerful nation because of its military or its wealth. It is a powerful nation because of its culture. And there is no group of people that are more important to the projection of America's culture and thus its power than America's artists, its musicians, its writers, and its actors. It is not Russian cinema that captivates the world, and it's not Chinese. It's American artistry. America is the creative capital of the world, and that creativity inspires the entire world towards the ideas of liberty and freedom. And what comes from that is pluralism and decency and opportunity. Capitalism isn't about servicing the top 1% or the top half percent. You can't say, if you're Ted Sarandos, that I'm going to pay $100 million to these two and then say I have no money to pay anyone else. At the core, what this strike is about isn't wealth. It's not about money. It's about a simple and fundamental concept that is as is, is necessary for the American people as air and water. What this strike is about is dignity and the right of the American people to be able to have some financial security. Understand this. It is the Actors Guild on strike. 
and it is the Writers Guild on strike. But what the strike is about affects every single American who gets up and goes to work who isn't worth $50 million. The actors and writers strike and their fight is your fight. If you get up every day, you work hard, you play by the rules, and you do everything that you think that you're supposed to be doing, but you keep falling behind. If you're worried about the machine taking your job, if you are worried about being replaced by ChatGBT, then this strike is your strike. Work without dignity will deprive people of purpose. A society filled with men and women without purpose and dignity will fall. And what will rise is not a democracy, but something terrible. When you have a country where 40% of the people have $400, what that does is it collapses faith and belief. In what? In everything. And in a country where faith and belief collapses, do you know what happens? People like this come to power. And when people like this come to power on the power of their demagoguery and their lies, stoking and inciting angry people who have every right to be aggrieved, this is the result. Franklin Roosevelt in the 1930s during the Great Depression with his New Deal didn't just save capitalism. He saved democracy. The writer's strike and the actor's guild strike are not trivial matters. It's about middle class people demanding respect and dignity for their work from their bosses who cannot make a dime without them, who make billions with them, but are pauperizing them while they're floating around the world on their yachts, apart removed from Americans who just want a fair shot and a decent paycheck for a decent day's work. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. Also, for more content just like this, please consider joining our Warning Premium community. You can find out more in the description below.